Welcome to part two of our Basics and Types of Bearings video series. In this episode, we'll explore four of the most common bearing types, providing technical details and real-world application examples for each. If you find this video informative and enjoyable, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's begin by selecting our first bearing type, the deep groove ball bearing. Deep groove ball bearings are among the most recognized types of bearings worldwide. When it comes to their load rating, they excel at handling moderate radial, axial, and combined loads. Examining their construction, we see that it comprises an outer grooved ring, a set of metallic balls, a cage for holding balls aligned, rivets for holding the cages together, and an inner grooved ring. They are used in applications such as electric motors, power tools, fans, blowers, and home appliances. These bearings offer unique benefits making them suitable for a wide range of industrial settings. Their straightforward design makes them a cost-effective and reliable sliding component in most rotating machines. They are an excellent choice for applications requiring low noise, low vibration, and low friction torque. Moreover, they're ideal for situations where space is at a premium and compactness is vital. For deeper insight, we will now examine the utilization of deep groove ball bearing inside an electric motor. Deep groove ball bearings are versatile, showcasing low friction, minimal noise, and high rotational speeds across various applications. These attributes make them the preferred type of bearing in electric motors, particularly because of their performance at high rotational speed. Deep groove ball bearings can handle moderate radial loads as shown with green arrows, moderate axle loads as shown with yellow arrows, and moderate combined loads as shown with purple arrows in any direction. As previously mentioned, the fundamental components of deep groove ball bearings comprise an inner ring, hardened steel balls, cage assembly, and an outer ring. The minimization of energy usage in electric drives is a significant objective in numerous industrial applications, and ball bearings have the potential to contribute towards achieving this aim. With their simple structure and ease of maintenance, ball bearings tend to have a long lifespan. As previously stated, the compact nature of ball bearings is a notable advantage that allows them to fit easily into confined spaces. As shown in the animation, space inside an electric motor is limited, However, a deep groove ball bearing can easily be fitted into the bushing housing of the electric motor shaft to ensure high-speed rotation with minimal friction. Now, let's choose a bearing from the roller bearing family. A primary subtype in this category is the flat cylindrical roller bearing. These bearings excel in withstanding large radial loads, making them an ideal choice for machinery subjected to significant radial forces. However, they cannot handle axial loads and, as such, are not designed for combined forces. While structurally similar to ball bearings, this bearing comprises four main components. An outer ring, cylindrical rollers, a cage to secure the rollers, and an inner ring. They find applications in sectors like automotive industries, rolling mills, and mining equipment. When evaluating bearing selection parameters, these bearings stand out for their cost efficiency, durability, and rotational accuracy. However, they rank poorly in terms of noise level and friction torque and are unsuitable for applications where space is limited. Now, let's examine how a cylindrical bearing functions inside a truck's rear axle drive. Within the core of a truck's power transmission system, we have the rear axle drive. This crucial component not only supports the weight of the vehicle, but also plays a pivotal role in transferring power from the engine to the wheels, enabling your truck to move. The power from the gearbox is transferred through a pinion and a crown wheel to the rear axle. As the pinion gear engages the crown wheel, the helical design of the gears combined with the pinion's off-center position generates significant downward radial forces. To counter these forces, cylindrical roller bearings are employed to ensure smooth rotation with minimal friction. As highlighted earlier, these bearings comprise four main components an outer ring, hardened cylindrical steel rollers, a cage to keep the rollers properly aligned, and an inner ring. In addition to the features previously highlighted, the bearing's flat inner surface provides a significant contact area on both rings. This makes cylindrical roller bearings especially well-suited for the truck rear axle drive, which requires high performance and a strong capacity to handle radial load. In our next bearing selection choice, we will pick the tapered roller bearing. 
Unlike standard roller bearings, tapered roller bearings are designed with an angular shape that enables them to effectively handle axial loads. One distinct feature of tapered roller bearings originates from its capability to handle significant axial loads in addition to radial loads. In terms of load capability, these bearings excel at handling axial loads, perform well at managing both radial and combined loads. These bearings are made up of two distinct components known as the cup and cone. The cone comprises tapered rollers, a cage, and an inner ring, while the cup functions as the outer ring. These bearings are utilized in various applications, including industrial gearboxes, wheel hubs, machine tools, and marine propulsion systems. While they offer satisfactory reliability, compactness, and rotational accuracy, their performance in terms of cost, noise, and friction torque is average. Now, let's look at the application examples. For this section's first application example, let's examine a different section of the truck, the wheel hub. The wheel hub serves as the central mounting point for the wheel and tire assembly and is essential in transferring power from the drive axle to the wheels, ensuring the vehicle's movement. It also houses necessary components such as tapered roller bearings, which are critical for efficient wheel rotation. They possess a distinct angular design, enabling them to effectively manage loads from both radial and axial direction. The capacity of a tapered roller bearing to handle axial loads is directly related to the increase in the raceway contact angles. The conical design of these bearings results in reduced stress on the components that interface with each other. When subjected to significant radial loads and unidirectional axial loads, the most appropriate choice is tapered roller bearings. As shown by the yellow arrows, the axial load will be managed by the tapered roller bearing as such. To counteract the directional axial loads, it's essential to position two tapered roller bearings in a back-to-back -back arrangement, ensuring a robust bearing application. In addition, the back-to-back -back arrangement enhances durability in life by distributing the load and achieves smoother operation under heavier radial loads on the tapered roller bearings, as indicated by the green arrows. Furthermore, this setup boosts the rigidity of the system and assists the bearings in handling larger combined loads, as illustrated by the purple arrows. Let's once again disassemble the tapered roller bearing to examine its components. Tapered roller bearings consist of two main parts, the cone and the cup. The cone houses the tapered rollers, a cage, and an inner ring, whereas the cup serves as the outer ring. In wheel hub applications, the bearing is complemented with a grease seal and a wear ring, as illustrated here. For our second application example, we will explore the inner components of an industrial gear speed reducer and how tapered roller bearings are utilized in it. A gear speed reducer, primarily powered by an electric motor, uses the principle of gear ratios determined by the relative number of teeth on the input and output gears to modify shaft speed and torque. The output delivers decreased speed but amplified torque to connected devices. Gear speed reducers can utilize various types of gears. However, our focus here will be on helical gears. Due to their angled teeth, helical gears generate both axial and radial forces. This necessitates the use of bearings like tapered roller bearings, which can handle both loads simultaneously. Additionally, the external force from the helical gear acting perpendicular to the shaft combined with the gravitational force from the weight of the gear results in a radial load on its bearings. Larger and heavier gears exert more downward pressure, leading to increased radial loads on their associated tapered roller bearings. As shown in the animation, the bearing on the right-hand side experiences greater radial loads than the one on the left-hand side. Just as in the wheel hub application example, the back-to-back -back arrangement of tapered roller bearings and a gear speed reducer helps in evenly distributing loads, especially during peak loading conditions. This configuration enables the bearings to manage greater combined loads, as illustrated by the purple arrows. Such even load distribution ensures extended bearing life and consistent performance. Moreover, tapered roller bearings arranged back-to-back -back can more effectively handle misalignments or deflections, whether from manufacturing tolerances or imprecise mounting, thus ensuring smoother gearbox operation and minimizing early wear. 
Gear speed reducers are found in numerous applications, from conveyor systems and manufacturing plants, lifting mechanism and cranes, to automotive transmissions. Given the unique demands placed on gear speed reducers by the axial and radial forces generated, particularly from helical gears, these specialized bearings are vital for ensuring the smooth and efficient operation of the gear reducer. Our final bearing selection is the spherical roller bearing. These bearings are distinctively designed to manage both radial and axial loads, even when misalignments between the shaft and bearing are present. They excel in handling radial loads, are moderate for axial loads, and perform well under combined loads. They also have a moderate capability to tolerate misalignment. These bearings consist of several separable components, including an outer ring, an inner ring, a cage, and a double row of barrel-shaped hardened steel rollers. They are used in a wide range of applications, including railway equipment, construction machinery, the oil and gas industry, and wind turbines. While they offer satisfactory precision in rotational accuracy and low friction under heavy loads, they are not particularly cost-efficient, compact, or quiet. However, they are reasonably reliable. Now, let's examine how these bearings function within a train suspension system, axle box. Spherical roller bearings have special design. These bearings comprise two sets of symmetrical rollers, a shared outer ring with a curved raceway, a cage to secure the rollers aligned, and an inner ring with two raceways that are inclined at an angle to the bearing's axis. Now, let's take a closer look at a real-world application of a spherical roller bearing. Within a train suspension system, we find an axle box that employs such a bearing. As shown in the animation, a train wheel is attached to the train frame via spherical roller bearings, supplemented by a suspension system made up of springs and a shock absorber. Given the significant weight of trains, they experience both lateral and radial movements as they travel along the rails. Dynamic loading, resulting from the train's movement, places varying stresses on the spherical bearing, especially when the train navigates curves, ascends or descends gradients or undergoes acceleration and deceleration. Furthermore, abrupt stops and starts at stations intensify these loads. These conditions introduce a combination of significant radial loads, illustrated by green arrows, and substantial axial loads, shown by yellow arrows in the animation. In addition to axial and radial loads, these bearings also experience moment loads. Such moment loads can lead to misalignment between the shaft and the bearing's outer ring. As illustrated in the animation, the self-aligning nature of spherical roller bearings makes them an ideal choice for scenarios where shaft misalignment is likely. We've covered many details regarding the four most common types of bearings in this video. In our upcoming video, we'll explore the technical details of another four common types of bearings and their use in various applications. If you enjoyed our content, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye!